Back in September of last year, both the Trickster and the Huntress got a small buff to the reloading speed. Whenever they go to a locker to refill their ammo, they now do it one second faster. I thought that this was a pretty good change, but now that the Huntress can carry up to 10 hatchets, the truth is you don't even need to reload sometimes at all. I challenged myself today to play a full match of Huntress and win it by never reloading, only using 10 hatchets throughout the entire game. And it was actually surprisingly easy. I won matches and matches, win after win, without feeling limited at all. So I decided to make things harder by limiting my perks, and it was still relatively doable. I don't really understand why they buff Hunter so much, but I'm not going to debate whether it was a good idea or not. You come to your own conclusions after watching this match. All right, the new event is now live, which means everything's bloody, and survivors are very chill. They're just sending me to this map. <laughs> well, at least the red stands out quite a bit, so... Yeah, one thing that I've noticed about this event is that it's really difficult to tell scratch marks apart from all the red stuff that's out there. Can I put this already? Yeah, this creates a circle that gives you some kind of buff, but I don't remember what the buff is, so... You'll have to excuse me if I'm a bit clueless. It's my... <laughs> It's my first matches uh, playing this. Um, oh, nice, fun art. Really? Nice, okay. We only have 10, so we're gonna make them count. I'll go this way. Listen carefully. That's what we're listening for. And easy peasy. Oh! Watch out when you chase a survivor for the first time with a medkit like this. You might want to swing at them. Do not let them have the opportunity to use the styptic if they have one. Um, that's a mistake I've made sometimes. You know, obviously they don't have dead heart, they don't have a body block. Just swing at them ASAP. Many times as a killer you want to be patient, make sure you don't mess up. But that might be the time when, honestly, you want to be speedy. If they have a styptic and they use it, they might take an extra hit and the first chase is very important. Nice job. Nice, nice, nice. Let's do one M1 here. We'll cut her off from that window, which is the most important part of this map. Uh, to worry about, that is. And this is looking good. Yeah, she didn't go anywhere too good. Let's do a mind game here. She runs back into us, works every time. Not every time, but yeah. Basically, when a survivor sits here and they don't see you coming from... It's, it's hard to explain it, honestly. But they essentially think that you're about to come from their left side, so they run back to the right to be in the middle, and that's when you get them. When a survivor doesn't see you follow, they, they always freak out thinking you're going the other way. That one was discovered a long time ago. <laughs> that mind game. All right, I'm sorry, I'm coming back. I have no idea who's where. Let's kick this. Everything's so red, man. Hello. You don't mind, right? Perfect. I mean, if I wanted to play this more seriously, go for Claudette, but this is fine. After this, if they lose, it's honestly on them. Wow, scratch marks really are hard to see. No way I get a hit here. What? Good stuff, good stuff. All right. She has a TL and a unique gym. That's honestly not that big of a deal. I think we're okay. Let's see where she goes. She probably hugs the that side and oh oh wow. Uh, all right, I would have liked to save that hatchet, but I mean, how could I know at the time, right? There's two sables and we fucked the one at the bottom. Let's keep that in mind. Gens are spread pretty awfully. Let's see if we can hang on to something. Uh, yeah, these three are kind of okay. Yeah, we definitely don't give this up. It's so fatiguing. It's like I'm. It's like I'm outdoors. I'm squinting at everything. All right. She might. She might have a uh, balance if she's taking this. Yes, indeed. Let's use her speed against her. Hide myself. Maybe she runs into us. She did not. Which means she's possibly right. Oh, wait a minute. She wait. She went all that far. You see scratch marks. She just did a quick, a quick turn back. Nice. I have a jungle gym here. Remember, in this map in particular, and it's the same for many others, uh, the loops are not repeated. So if you see a... This is another mind game. If you see a jungle gym here, that means there's not another jungle gym anywhere else. There's sometimes rules that are different, but yeah. Uh, most maps that are... Uh, yeah, m most auto-haven... Uh, 
Yeah, Auto Haven and Cold Tower type, you know, Macmillan. They follow these rules too, where there's one of each. Uh, the farm doesn't, however. The farm's weird. Alright, we absolutely need that hatchet, so... Not too bad. I'm gonna pretend to pick up. Do they have a flashlight? Do they go for something? Mm, this is the top one. The top uh, sable. She has not been hooked yet. We don't really care about her, but I mean, we'll take a little hit, right? Let's start to keep these gents at arm's length. These two in particular. I mean, these three in, in reality are all very good. Scratch marks. Oh, I see Claudette. How can I mess with her? Show my red light. Maybe she runs without looking. Nah, she did that well. Same mind game's not gonna work twice on her, I'm sure. Uh, this could be Hatchet. Nice, let's do M1. One thing about Hatchet that is just insane, as long as you have one, as long as survivors are afraid that you're gonna use one, you sometimes don't even have to use it. So, yeah. You can get a lot of value from just holding it sometimes. Because it's so easy to reload in your average game, you don't think about it too much, but I guess that if you were an even better hunter than me, which is not super difficult because I'm not like an insane hunter or anything, you could save so much time using your hatchets well, almost never missing, you know, using them for M1s. Yeah, even if you are in a, ma in a map with poor locker placements. I really wish they had just fixed the locker placements instead of doing this in unnecessary buff. Like, I've played so many games off stream. Most of them were a bit boring, so I'm not showing them on this video. And Hunters, n even with very little or no perks at all, she feels so decent still. And I don't think she's that insanely difficult for beginners either, so I cannot wrap my head around why they would buff her. Alright, this is pretty... makes plenty of sense. Oh, this girl's that on hook though. Nasty hit. Hmm... Nasty hit number two. Uh, I mean, this tunneling is fine, I think, but... I feel bad. I want to let her go. I'm going to let her go. Since we have a good 3-gen and we have at least another girl that don't hook. Yeah, I could have... I, I think pretty sure I could have hit that, but... Yeah, let's go for someone else. That way they all get a chance. I fake it. Nice, she did the right thing. The person that has not died yet is taking a hit for somebody else, which makes plenty of sense, don't tell me wrong. Oh, that crouch was excellent from her, though. It makes plenty of sense, because they haven't really seen me use painters or anything, so why not, right? All right, now that I've hooked everybody, though, I have only two hatches. I am going to play like my life depends on this. You know, like it's a tournament, so I'm sorry, dudes. This girl's not the hook. Yeah. Time to pick you up. Only one more hatchet. We save that. We save that. Alright, so almost everyone's the hook, save for the sable. That's not on the hook right now. But then I haven't seen her. But I have. I think she's here. Oh, never mind. Where are you then? Don't care about that girl at all. Uh this might be Claudette, fully healed with her medkit, obviously. We have a jungle gym ahead. If she reaches that, it's not looking too good for me. Please tell me they don't have any even more filler pallets here. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, 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 nice. Where's she going, left or...? Generally can't tell. Ah! I think committing to this chase is a bad idea. She could have a Dren or a Styptic. I mean, she would have used a Styptic earlier if she had it. Yeah, let's go for someone that's in a more favorable spot compared to the position of the gents, at least. Does she use life like a crazy person? Yeah. Make it look, make it, make it look like I'm balting. Uh, it's my last hatchet. I really prefer not to use it, even though this girl's that on hook. Oh, she's lagging. Let's do the mind game that work on Claudette. She hasn't seen it, so maybe it works on her, too. It did. Awesome. This Sable is dead on hook, so she's a good target. I could also look out and see if Claudette, who has run out of heals, is on this gen. She doesn't seem to be. So hard to tell whether what is a scratch mark and what is blood and what is just the event stuff. 
Even if we lose this game, by the way, it won't be a bad thing. They missed the skill check. That is really bad. You guys need this. Claudette did heal one way or another. This Sable is not the one that on Hawk, but she's not in a good spot. If the other two jump on that gen, I'm in trouble. Let's do a little test. I think she's checking from that corner. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's hit her with a basic attack. The fact that she drops a pallet there tells you she's not super experienced, because a super experienced survivor would have understood that they're going to get hit, and they save the pallet for later. Especially next to an Exegate, that pallet could be huge. Um, I need to take a risk here. That's good. Uh, I will take this if it means a down. Yep, that's my final hatchet. Ooh, damn. That's crazy, actually. Right, so do I have a hook above? Yes, I do. That was uh, very strange. Since I cannot reload... Um, I need to follow that girl, so... Not sure if that swing that much, but I'm sure it wasn't terrible. I'm gonna try to cut her off. If she goes straight for that gate and it's open, I think they're out. Yeah, um, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Uh, yeah, she is completely fine. Well played. Well done. Now, all right, even though it was two kills and not the best result we could have gotten, I'm sure all of you understand that we played this game very, very nice. We had a chance to tunnel, we didn't take it. We had a chance to tunnel way, way earlier. We also didn't take it. These guys, I mean, not the most insane builds or anything, but they had a good map. Good stuff overall, Claudette with Wake Up, always oh, cool to see that. Like, you understand, right? Like, I'm not doing this to flex, look, wow, I won without perks, or, or I'm winning without perks, right? Like, the, the, the point is, this killer, holding themselves back a lot, not even reloading the whole match, can actually keep up with survivors somewhat. So why did she get such a massive buff? That's the big question. My guess is that she wasn't doing too well in the stats for a reason or another, and the devs wanted a shortcut, a band-aid fix, instead of placing more lockers around the map, which they probably should. But yeah, well, whatever. Uh, when a proper good Huntress begins to play, not with this, but with a really strong build, you'll, you'll see just how out of place and out of touch these buffs really were. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.